okay so for a lot of you nft folks who've never done anything like this before this is a video to kind of crash course how to inscribe something on the bitcoin blockchain first of all you're gonna want to read uh just some preface you're gonna want to read casey's blog rodermore.com slash blog slash ordinal theory this talks about what's going on and then the uh, resources for kind of your step-by-step -step is the docs.ordinals.com um, just to kind of clarify about some of the terminology I'm not in charge but kind of here's just to clarify some of this um, NFTs are not necessarily inscriptions uh, we're calling uh, these things which we write onto the Bitcoin blockchain digital artifacts and the specific things that we're doing here are inscriptions which is in what's called the witness data of uh, the Bitcoin blockchain so ordinal theory is the methodology that Casey came up with for uh, describing and tracking individual Satoshis a Satoshi is the smallest unit currently of a Bitcoin and an ordinal I think if I understand it right will probably come to mean like a specific Satoshi or a specific sat so you inscribe these things to a specific Satoshi the way you do that and again I'm not very smart I really don't know what I'm doing and anybody who knows what they're doing is probably gonna look at this and cringe a ton but here's how we, here's how we do it so you need a, to install a uh, and run Bitcoin Core. This is running a full Bitcoin node. And you can go to this, bitcoincore.org slash releases 24.0.1. Make sure you're getting the, the latest version, not the 22. Um, and you will download it. You'll pick which of these is the right, is the one for your computer, whether you're Windows or Mac. We're doing Windows. Again, I'm not really the expert here. Um, so I download it, so I download extract and I'm going to go through here and I'm going to run this program in my Bitcoin 24.0.1 uh, bin I'm going to run Bitcoin D.exe. Um, now you'll need, now this is going to sync the entire Bitcoin blockchain onto your uh, computer. So what you need is at least 500 gigabytes of hard drive space. You're really going to want probably something more like a whole terabyte. Um, so you're going to run that and it's going to take a while. It, it is going to take, I've been doing it here. It's going to take, uh, it could take uh, half a day, it could take several days, depending on your hardware and your connection. Um, I have the top tier computer you can get and it took me like six hours. I would say an average person is going to take about a day to two days. So you're going to run Bitcoin D, which is this client here. And you will see that eventually it'll catch up to the current block height. You'll see it'll have, you'll, you'll be able to see the dates in there. You'll also be able to see the block height. You can look at the block height by looking at this website, mempool.space. And the current block height is 700,070, 700, whatever. You get to see it there. So you're going to leave this client open. You're going to leave Bitcoin D.exe open. And you're going to go to docs.ordinals.com specifically under the uh, number six guides 6.2 inscriptions ordinal inscription guide so now you're going to install the ord client which basically runs on top of your bitcoin client this is the additional client that casey's written and other people to help you actually inscribe inscriptions and to be able to track ordinals. So again, source, download the latest version over here, and you download whichever version of this is relevant to your uh, hardware. In my case, I'm on Windows. There we go. Extract all. 
you're going to run <clears throat> ord.exe. Another way to do this, uh, to run anything, just is to open the command uh, line interface on your computer. Uh, go to search, type cmd, run command prompt. Over here, right click, copy path, just paste that here. And you will now see in your command prompt this. So now you're running or.exe and you're running it on top of the Bitcoin Core client. Um, yeah, so anyway, from here, you can follow the guide on... From here, you can follow the guide on inscriptions, specifically uh, from here, installing or creating a Bitcoin Core wallet, receiving sats, and then creating inscription content, and then creating inscriptions. From here, you can follow these commands and do those things. Remember to secure your private key. I might make another video following up on that.